What's going on friends? My name is Evan and if you're new to the channel, I'm an online reseller. That means I go to places like garage sales, thrift stores, and estate sales to try and find stuff to sell online for a profit. Well today I went to four different thrift stores. I'm on the way home now. I'm going to show you some footage from those thrift stores. I'm going to show you what I got and I'm going to show you what I think I'll make on them. And I actually did buy an invisibility cloak, so we're going to have to try it out before I can sell it. Stay tuned. First stop was this Goodwill, and they always have their music going really loud, so enjoy this cool song I found as we cruise through. I'm a mess. Don't know how I got here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it'd take me past my the rest cuz i'm a mess no more you so these coleman drip coffee makers their camping coffee makers are definitely something to be on the lookout for but i opened this one up and it was totally gross so it got left behind how can i believe I did, however, pick up this Revereware four quart stock pot with a copper bottom. Paid $4.94 for it, and it should sell for between $30 and $40 plus shipping. Also, big shout out to Hustle and Hooks on Instagram and YouTube for the pots and pans knowledge. Those guys are a wealth of information. Go check them out. Meet Sage. She was American Girl Doll's 2013 Doll of the Year. I believe I can get $75 to $100 for her, and I only paid $4.94. Also, big shout out to Red Dirt Pickers who helped me identify Sage when I posted her to Instagram. Go check him out on YouTube and Instagram. I grabbed this Harley Davidson shirt. It's not worth a whole lot, but it was only $1.50, so I always grab one when I see them. Also picked up this Davis and Elkins sweatshirt. It's on a Velveteen tag, which means it's from the 70s or 80s. Should get around $30 to $40 for it. I paid $4.75. Last but not least, I really did pick up an invisibility cloak from the Harry Potter movie. Stay tuned, we're going to see if it works. The second stop was another Goodwill. So, short and sweet, didn't find anything here. Let's move on to the next one. The next stop is this Adventist Community Thrift Shop. It's a smaller store, but I do find some pretty good stuff in here sometimes. This creepy bunny has been at this thrift store forever. 
comment down below, I want the bunny. I'll go buy the bunny and send you the bunny. Winner pick randomly. Picked up this vintage Charleston, South Carolina shirt. Just thought it was cool. Paid a dollar for it. I should get 15 or 20. This is Hades from the Disney movie Hercules. I can only find one of these sold on eBay and it sold for $99.95. If you don't know, Disney Vintage is hot right now, so I'm going to aim for a lot more. So I picked up that hat and that t-shirt for $2. Next stop is Salvation Army. And hopefully when I'm done there, the kids will be home from school and we can test out the invisibility cloak. Picked up this vintage Adidas Windbreaker. Paid $5.99 for it. Should get around $30 or $40. Paid $5.99 for this vintage denim L.L. Bean flannel line jacket. Looks like I'll get around $35 to $40 on it. Picked up this Burberry London flip cuffs button up shirt. Paid $3.99. Should get around $40 or $50 for it. Burberry is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Paid up a little bit on the Sony DVD combo unit. Paid $19.99. But with the remote and everything, looks like I can get around $100 plus shipping. So I am back and we've got our Harry Potter invisibility cloak. We're going to open it up and give it a try. Pay $2.94 for it. And, uh, yeah. We'll try it out. Be right back. So, we got our invisibility cloak opened up. Um, we may have wasted $3 because it's not, not doing it. I still see you. Um, maybe we need a magic word? Um, boom? We can try it. Say it loud. Boom! Hey, it worked. Where'd you go? I'm here. Oh, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.